Hello everyone, my name is Lolly and I am with Lolly Palooza on YouTube. I'm here to share this product called Craftex with you. Craftex is a paper product that you can wash. You can actually machine wash it. You can sew on it. You can iron. You can stamp on it. You can see I have stamped on this. You can color it in with your inks, with uh, paint, with colored pencils. You can emboss on it by putting it through your embossing folders. You can decoupage. You can see I have decoupage rice paper around these ones here. You can also decoupage napkins on them. You can die cut them. As you see, these are die cut using this set right here by ECD. And it, it is 1658 planner labels. And it gives you quite an option, a variety of choices here. So I also used this die here, this outer one, to create my color swatch here, which you can see all of the colors that Craft Text comes in. And let's bring that over and show it more closely. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, so why would we want to use this product? It's because it is really strong. And you see it's flexible. It softens over a period of time. It is really good because it's washable. You make a journal, you know, you spill something on it. It's nice that you can wipe it clean. Also, it's color fast. You see all these colors, but it's nice to know that they're not going to be fading on you. So let's look at some of the projects that I've made besides these using the Elizabeth Craft dies. Let's set this aside. So this is a, I call it a snap pouch. And I said you can sew on craft text, and this shows you the example right here, how I stitched around there. I like to use Fabri-Tac when I'm, because it is permanent and it really holds well. But I do like the stitching as well. You have to keep in mind that it's not fabric and that if once you sew or put any holes in it, those holes are there to stay, so you have to be careful. And I made the pouch myself, and then I used the, it was Florals 2 die set, which probably is hard to get right now. And then I die cut all the flowers and leaves, and I distressed the edges with some of the Tim Holtz inks. And isn't that beautiful? I just think that color is very stunning as well. One of her recent releases was this, which is the suitcase special set. So you can make little journals out of it, you know, by adding all your pages and you can make it out of craft text and it's flexible, but also look how rugged and vintage that looks. To me, it really looks like a suitcase. It looks like leather. It has a feel that's a cross between thin leather and canvas almost. And I glued, all of this is die cut. Everything you see here, except for the eyelets, is Craftex in various colors. I stamped on Craftex all these pieces. And so this will be the front and back of another journal. And it is beautiful and it will, it's so sturdy. You do not need hole reinforcers with Craftex because it's so strong, but I did it because I just think they're very attractive. And this is their sentiment strip die set. I love this die set. This makes the strongest tags. You could hang this on luggage. You could hang it on your bags, your totes, your journals. I love it. And again, you don't need an, a hole reinforcer or an eyelet, but I think that just adds to it. I also did the camera and I just put a gemstone right in the middle there. Now let's look at this journal I've been working on. This is 100% craft text. Well, uh, I think I glued some gems in there, but I mean, I had not used any paper in here, so I just want you to know ahead of time, anything you see here, it's going to be craft text in their original colors. And these are all Elizabeth Craft dies that I'm using. I used hole reinforcers because they're attractive. They add beauty to it, but they're not necessary. And so the fun thing about this is you don't necessarily have to have a journal cover. So you could put it in your planner essentials. This is one that I've decorated. Or you can just use it with your book rings like this. And you can expand it. So I use this die here and it does have the pockets so that I could put a little tags in there and paper tags. But right now, I want you to see what craft text looks like. I did stitch, I glued, and then I made some decorative stitching. The stitching isn't ne necessary, but it is decorative. And this is also her, her die set as well. So on the other side, 
I have this pocket here. And I want you to see that you can also write on the craft text. So I just use the Micron PN and just wrote some encouraging words on there. And this is vellum that I glued to the inside of that pocket. I also want you to see that this stamp set, this is part of the new Christmas Lives Here stamp set collection. And you see this color that I achieved that's just from colored pencils. I picked one that looked kind of denim like this paper here, or craft text, and I just colored the top half of the letters. Isn't that attractive? It's beautiful. And so this is the next page. And this is a pocket. Again, these are all uh, her dies. And when I cut out this piece, I had all these little chevron pieces, and so I just glued them down here. This is the only thing that's not an Elizabeth Craft die, and that is a hole punch. You can hole punch on Craft Text. So I love these dies. This heart one is also part of this die set that I showed you in the beginning, right there. It's in that fun. Nice big pocket. Okay, and then the back side of that, I love this tree. Uh, this tree is here, and I put friends. I just cut out, this is not a die, I just cut out a square and scored it and folded it and put that over there and put the, the deer head right there. Next page, this is one of the pockets. So it does make it thick because the sides fold over, but um, you could put some really nice chunky things here. I wanna show you, and I'm using the hole reinforcers here for decoration on the tab instead of putting them here for the holes. I wanna show you how you can do such intricate die cutting with this. And with craft text. And I just put some gems right here for the little antenna toppers. But I just glued the antennas and, and the body and just a portion of the wings. And now we have this beautiful effect here. And I'm not worried about that, you know, getting uh, scuffed up or, you know, torn just from moving the page. So it's another really fun thing. And then I have half a butterfly back here. And every time that I'm punching things, I'm getting hole reinforcers, holes, and I save them. And I just glue them here for a decoration and here for a decoration. I have the life is good and I have room here to journal or put a photo or whatever. So, and this is also part of the new Christmas Lives Here release. So I, it's so fun. So we can make this as big as we want, but I thought what we would do right now is go ahead and do a page, uh, do uh, add something to this together. So I thought I would use this die here, which is part of Planner Essentials 13 Christmas Winter Insert number 1674. And this is also where I got the trees and that deer. And I am going to cut this out in the denim. The colors come on rolls, most of them. So I like to open it up and cut around my piece here so I can see about how much to, to use. And then I'm going to iron this piece so it's nice and straight when we put it through the die cutting machine. Okay, so I have the Sizzix switch here. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to take the, the big platform right here. I'm going to add on that this Shim A one cutting plate. Put the craft text down, die cut down on the cutting side down on that and sandwich it like this if I just messed up. You can also use your yellow tape to adhere that. Okay. I save all these scraps. I love the stitched borders. So I am going to punch this out. And I, like I said, I save all these holes. Okay. Now, another thing I want to do is to ink this. So when it's in the journal, it's going to go like this or like this. I think I'll probably have mine this way. 
either way, what I want to do is put it this way. I'm going to put something here to protect my surface. One of the new releases from Elizabeth Craft Designs is these planner stencils. I love them, and I'm going to use from pack one, I'm going to use this set here. I cut the uh, packaging insert here so I would always know which one goes in which set, and I put paper in between my stencils so they don't catch on one another. So I have that, and I am going to use the Prize Ribbon Distress Ink. I'm just figure which way I want this. Eight is my favorite number, so I want to make sure I have at least one eight on there. There's one here. Now I'm going to hold the stencil and lift this up to show you. You have to decide how dark you want yours to be, and I think I'm going to do not a consistent uh, pressure. I want it to have some darker than others. I'm really gonna get that eight in there. And I think I might even fade it toward the top. Let's see. Oh, very beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to bring this down and there's another eight right there. Now I'm using the ink instead of the oxides because I don't want it to reactivate if it gets wet. Love it. Oh my, I like that five. Okay, I'm gonna lift that up. Now I think what else I would like to do is just give the edge right here a little bit. Now, it just occurred to me, I probably should bring this back in here because when I fold this over, I'm going to burnish and really need to push down and I don't want that to get all over my surface. So you can see the nice marks here, score lines. And I'm also making sure I'm lining up these holes there. Nice, good crease. There we go, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, that looks so pretty. So we can just glue the edges shut or we can sew them either way. But I think what I'm going to do is to go ahead and use the Fabri-Tac. Now I am going to use this side as a guide because this sticks out. I don't want to glue that. I decided I'm also gonna glue right here Help that to really stay. And then come here. Really want to get this a good clamp right there. Now, Fabri-Tac is permanent uh, after 24 hours, but it gets a good uh, grip very quickly. Five minutes from now, I'll be able to just play around with this. I just was doing something, so I came back about 10, 15 minutes later. I decided to go ahead and give it a, a light coat on both sides with the fixative spray, which you can get at your art and craft stores. And that helps to kind of seal this. Now, if you want more dimension from any time you do a stencil, you can use like a white gel pen and a Micron PN in black and create shadows and highlights. So what I'm gonna do with the black is I'm going to trace under the bottom of all, anything that's like at the bottom. So the, the bottom of this, the bottom of that shape, the bottom of that. So I'm pretending like a light is coming down this way and these parts would be under shadow. And I'm not being too particular to make sure I get every single thing. Wait till I get that white on here and you will see how much this really makes it pop. There we go. So I'm doing it really lightly toward the top because I didn't do as dark inks. Now, what I'm going to do is take the white and I'm going to do the top parts of all these. 
And this is when you're gonna be really glad that you sprayed a fixative spray on it. it. And if you don't do a fixative, basically the white will turn a little blue as it kind of blends in with some of the, the blue ink. There we go, just a little bit, but you can see how that made everything perk right up. It gives such a dimension. It looks like it is embossed on there. See, here's the back, flat, and that one where they really stick out. You could spray it again to seal the gel pen. You could take some of your other embellishments that you have and glue those right on there. And I have also used, I, since I like the number eight, I cut that out in the, the really dark craft text using Planner Essentials 37 letters and numbers. And I'm also using, for just for accent, I'm using Whole Reinforcers from Whole Reinforcement Set 1. This is Set 2. This is Set 1. And there is the one I'm using right there. Okay, I love it. And now I just think, I want this to really stand out. So what I might do is put it right up here where my ink is softer up there because I didn't, as I was stenciling, I was making sure that I wasn't being consistent. I want it to look faded in certain places. And I have this nice spot right there just begging for that brilliant eight to be the focus of my entire project. So I don't think that I will put this on there just because it doesn't seem to match the color steam I've got going on here. So let's put this in. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And I only need to open these two rings. Um, you could do as many rings as you want on this. You could do all six, but I decided to do this way. So now we have this. I want to show you, we've got all these pockets here. I have this pocket, which is being used. I have this pocket here, which I can put my cards and journal notes in. I have this spot here for journaling. I've got this pocket here, a really chunky pocket there, and all this space there. I was also playing around with this, which can be turned into a bookmark. Thank you for watching. I think this is a delightful project. This product works so well with Elizabeth Craft dies, stencils, and stamps.